Guys, welcome to the video. Those of you that know me and follow my channel, uh, you all know that I do a lot of renovation type work and I, I'm pretty much a multi-trade type person. So I do a little bit of everything really uh, and the way I have my, my tool bag set up uh, represents that fact. So I just thought I would do a quick video on how I set things up to make organisation easier and efficiency a lot easier as well. Uh, I don't typically load my van up, clip here, this is my van here, it's fairly, fairly small. So what I tend to do is, um, you know, every night before I go to the, the job the next day, I will grab the tools that I need uh, for the for the job in hand the following day. Typically, I don't have my van stocked out with tools, hand tools at all, you know, just for security reasons, really. As you can imagine, a lot of these tools are worth a hell of a lot of money, you know, so I, I never tend to keep tools in my van overnight. Um, if I do, it's normally the small TP5 here, you know, that, that'll stay pretty much in the van all the time. But the rest of the tools, no, I'll keep them in a secure area. What we'll do, we'll run through how I've got things set up and what I use, you know, the different products I use to, to keep organised. Right guys, we'll start from this end and work around. Uh, this is my electrical setup. So the box I have is a DeWalt DS400. The bag is the Vito Pro Pack Tech LC and this is just the fluke box uh, for my meters. So typically, in the Tech LC, I'll put a link there. I do have a, a loadout video of what I carry in there, so there's a link there. Typically, it's just uh, your standard electrical hand tools and the ds400 i will keep dry lining boxes um connector boxes you know wigos all that sort of things just a, a full range of things in that box i don't typically take tend to take that with me it stays in the van um, but the, i'll take the bag obviously the bag with me um, for small electrical jobs unless i'm doing a full-blown renovation type thing when i'll use all this stuff so that's my electrical overview there uh, the next one, okay, so this is my maintenance uh, setup. So again, there's a DS400 box there. We've got the TP5 grab bag here, and we've got the Tech XL main maintenance bag here. So again, I've done loadouts of these bags again. So the Tech XL, we'll put a card there just now. And the TP5B, we'll put a card there just now. So you can see how I've got these loaded up and what I'll use the tools for. Yeah, so the TP5B grab bag, uh, it's, to, uh, it's basically, as it says, a grab bag for small type jobs that you need to nip in and nip out, you know. It could be anything from a dripping tap, changing a light fitting, uh, just very, very small jobs like that. That's a, this is a great bag just for grabbing and, and going into the property and doing that. Uh, I've really grown to love this setup. The DS400 is mainly ca uh, used for carrying power tools when I need them. Or, you know, it could be light bulbs, fittings, all that sort of things. Um, plus there is some special tools in there as well. And the Tech XL, again, this is a great bag. Uh, it's a very heavy bag, but it's a good bag to have with you when you're on a, a maintenance type job, even renovations and things like that. Um, this tends to have everything in it, so it's got a little bit of electrical, a little bit of plumbing, um, just most things really. Uh, so that's a great bag. Okay, so my next setup is my plumbing outfit. I've actually changed this fairly recently because I use the Vito Pro Pack uh, Tech OTMC, but I've been finding that quite small. I have it really tightly packed with tools. Um, I, I just had a need to, you know, space them out a bit more and carry a bit less in a single bag. So what I've done is added a TP4B on the side. That just gives you extra capacity. Um, the tools are easier to access. And so this is this setup's working pretty well for me, to be honest. I've got it set up in such a way that I could just lift off the TP4B for any sm really small plumbing jobs and it's got everything in it I need. Um, I've also got the PB5 small parts bags clipped on the side. Again, I do have a review in the Teco TMC, but it's maybe a little bit outdated now. Uh, but I will, for anybody that's interested, I'll put a link there. And you can see how I've got that set up. I mean, it's pretty much the same tools I've got in here. They're just sort of spread out a bit more between two bags as opposed to one. Uh, and again, with the DS400 box, which is mainly for soldering equipment. So, you know, the, the gas flux lead uh, solder. Uh, quite a few spare fittings, um, just that type of thing. It's, it's mainly a storage box, really. So that's my plumbing setup. Uh, I do like it now with the, the, the bags like this. Okay, next setup is fencing. Again, regulars to my channel know that I'm heavily into fencing. I'm actually thinking of setting up a, a separate company just to deal with fencing. 
and going fairly large into that. Uh, so in other words, employees, things like that. Uh, I'm just in the process of planning that at the moment. I will be doing everything else as well, but fencing's it's a big lucrative job uh, in this area, in my area, uh, and I like doing it, and it just makes sense to set up a business around it. So watch this space. Uh, I will have a lot more videos, I think, coming up with the equipment I'm buying. Um, obviously going to need different transport and stuff. But again, that's another video. Anyway, fencing, this is how we've got it set up. Again, we've got another TP5B here. Again, I don't know if I'm going to run out of links here, but I've got a... Uh, I'll try and put a link here. If it doesn't appear, look at my channel and you'll see a, a review and an overview of this bag and how we've got it set up. Again, it's just a grab bag to where I can run onto site with it. This goes everywhere with me, you know, when I'm fencing, just hang it up on a fence post and, you know, it's, it's got most of the little tools I need. Uh, the DS400, again, I tend to just carry nails and that for the nail gun, screws, uh, brackets, that type of thing. Um, it's, it's mainly a storage box, but again, it's very heavy, so I don't want to be dragging that onto, every, onto site all the time. Hence why I've got this. Um, so this is my fencing setup here. Right, next setup is carpentry. Uh, I don't do a huge amount of carpentry, but I will hang a door if I need to. Um, do fit quite a lot of kitchen worktops, to be honest. Um, things like that. Do a lot of flooring, laminate flooring, vinyl quick flooring. So this bag's primarily set up for that. So pretty much, I haven't done a, an overview of this bag yet. I'll, I'll do a video in the future of what I, what I take carry in this, but it's mainly chisels, um, you know, angle finders, squares, typical carpentry tools, really. Um, I'll, I'll do a, a video of that in the future. So pretty much it's set up for flooring, hanging doors, uh, small carpentry type work. Okay, so under the Tech LC, which is my uh, carpentry bag, I do have my old Dewalt, Dewalt tote. It's just a large tote bag, which is handy for carrying, you know, larger tools, saws, hammers, pry bars, things like that. So there's no sense of getting rid of it. I'm just going to keep it. I can actually fit my floor cutter in there as well, so it's handy. Yeah, it's the DS300 for carpentry. Uh, it's, it's, it's mainly my Dewalt Orbital Sander that's in there, all the sanding pads, the sander, and there is space for, you know, other things I need for specific jobs. So fillers, sealants. Uh, I need a lot of that, you know, in my carpentry work skills. <laughs> Right. Okay, and here uh, we have another DS300. Uh, this is set up for tiling and sealing, uh, tiling and sealant. So silicon sealing, tiling. Uh, I had a spare TP4 bag, which I used to use for my mobile fencing bag, but it's since been replaced with TP5B. So I just I've just set it up for a siliconing bag. So pretty much in the pocket, it's got all the formers. It's got a couple of formers there, uh, the Fuji kit. Uh, a lot of blades for removing old silicon, things like that. There's not too much in it, but it's, it's a handy little grab bag just for any quick siliconing bags, like you know, leaking showers, things like that. Uh, so that's fine. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that works. I haven't actually used that on, on a job yet, but it's just newly set up. We'll use that. Um, and this here is just my laser level, which I use for tiling all, all the time. So it's pretty much in a hand tool pile. Right guys, so over and above the, the tool bags and boxes, I mean this is all just hand tools, I've got to remember, uh, there's no power tools included here. I do use a lot of these uh, small parts, you know, tea stacks or cases from DeWalt, uh, they're fantastic. Here's a small selection of what I use here, um, I do have a lot more of these. But typically, like in this one, there's, it's all electrical connectors, plumbing fittings, uh, fixings, all your different fixings for, you know, plasterboard, masonry, all that type of stuff. More plumbing fittings, uh, more plumbing stuff, and uh, that's just geared up for toilets and toilets alone. So if I'm going to do a toilet job, for instance, I'll grab that box and know that I've got everything in there. Uh, you know, all the, the, the donuts, spare bolts, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so it's all about organisation and efficiency here. Um, yeah, so typically that's my setup. Uh, as I said, I don't keep any of this in my van at all. Um, I'll always go out the night before and I'll, or the morning before I go to a job and say for instance I know it's an electrical job the next day I'll just, I just need to grab the bag and not think about it, throw it in the van and I know everything's there. You know, plumbing's the same, maintenance, you know, fencing obviously, I take all my fencing stuff, um, carpentry work, any of that, even if there's a couple of jobs mixed together, you know, if there's, say there's, I'm hanging a door and I've got a tap to fix as well, you know, I could just grab that bag, grab that bag, and that's it, I'm done, you know, I don't need to think about it. 
There's nothing worse than having a large toolbox with all the different tools you need, you know, from, it could be from pipe cutters to pliers to files, you know, all mixed together and you, you just can't find anything, you know, you're scrambling about. So to have all it organised like this is just a, a godsend, you know, it's just a lot more efficient. I mean, invest, uh, I mean, there's a few thousand pounds here, you know, um, especially the tools I buy, I tend to stick with German tools. Um, but, I mean, these pay for themselves in the course of a year, really, you know, with the efficiency it brings to the, job, the business. Right, guys, that's how I'm set up. I'd be interested to see how you guys are set up, but this is quite successful for me, uh, the way I have it here. Hopefully, you found some use out of the video, maybe give you some ideas on how you can set up your business going forward. Uh, obviously this is just hand tools, um, I will, I'll try and do a video of all the power tools I use as well. I do have a lot of power tools, which I can do a similar video, just lay them out and just show you yeah, what I use, or the main main tools that I use. But hopefully this is giving you a quick overview of the hand tools I use. Right guys, if you liked the video please give it a like, uh, it is important to give it a like because if videos don't get likes they seem to die a death on YouTube as I'm finding out, I'm still obviously fairly new on YouTube. Uh, for anybody new here, click the subscribe button, which is there, and you'll see more content like this. Um, please feel free to share this video if you can. Guys, um, as usual, I'll leave links in the description to all the bags that I use and all the, the sort of storage boxes. Uh, if, anybody, if it's given anybody any ideas and they want to go ahead, I would advise you to watch the, the Vito playlist if you are considering purchasing anything, and you'll see a a better overview of the bags and tools. Right guys, thanks again and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, cheers.